The Chinese Chang'e 6 mission just unveiled a groundbreaking update on their moon landing. Prepare for a revelation that will leave you on the edge of your seat. China's lunar probe has successfully launched from the moon's far side, commencing its return journey to Earth with the first-ever samples from this region. This mission, celebrated by the global scientific community, achieved a groundbreaking milestone on Sunday when the robot landed in a large shell hole near the moon's south pole. Notably, China remains the only country to have landed on the moon's far side, a feat first accomplished in 2019. The mission's primary goal is to retrieve rock and soil samples from the far side, which scientists believe could significantly differ from those on the near side. According to China's National Space Agency, the Chang'e lunar probe successfully took off from the moon's far side, marking a crucial step in this ambitious enterprise. China will be the first country to have gathered samples from this region, further establishing its expertise in space exploration. Previous missions, like Chang'e 5, collected samples from the moon's near side, but the far side presents additional technical challenges and more difficult terrain. The China National Space Administration, CNSA, highlighted that Chang'e 6 has endured the high temperatures characteristic of the far side of the moon, showcasing its robust design and technological advancements. This mission not only aims to provide new insights into the moon's geology, but also covers the way for future lunar exploration, potentially benefiting the broader scientific community with unparalleled data and samples from the moon's unexplored regions. China has confirmed a successful touchdown on the far side of the moon with its Chang'e 6 sample return mission. The robotic landing system is currently gathering lunar rock and soil using a combination scoop and drill system. After two days of sample collection, the material will make its way back to Earth, expected to touch down on June 25th. This mission marks the first time samples from the moon's far side will be available for study. Here's how the mission unfolded. After launching on a long March 5th rocket, the Chang'e 6 spacecraft entered a high orbit around the moon, traveling in a brief path between 200,000 and 400,000 kilometers above the surface. The spacecraft consists of four key components, a service module, a lander, an ascent vehicle, and a re-entry capsule, with a total mass exceeding 8 metric tons. Over the following weeks, the vehicle gradually descended into a circular orbit. During this period, the probe scouted its ideal landing site inside the South Apollo crater, part of the South Pole Aitken Basin on the Moon's far side. This mission represents a significant achievement in lunar exploration and sample collection. The successful touchdown and sample return from the Moon's far side will provide scientists with valuable new material to study, enhancing our understanding of the Moon's composition and history. After setting its designated location, the lander detached from the re-entry module and began its gradual descent to the lunar surface. Halting at 2.5 kilometers altitude, it conducted swift positional adjustments before progressing to 100 meters, where it initiated a hovering phase. Utilizing a combination of photonic radar and optical cameras, the probe identified a secure landing site. This achievement marks China's fourth lunar landing and its second exploration of the moon's far side. Notably, it is the third man-made object to reach the moon this year, following the Japanese slim and intuitive machine's ADSC landers, both encountering technical issues. Over two days, the lander will employ two onboard instruments to gather samples, a scoop for surface materials, and a coring drill capable of penetrating up to two meters below the surface. Around 2 kg of lunar rock and soil will be collected and transferred to an ascent module, a miniature rocket designed to lift off from the lander platform and assemble with the orbiter. Following sample retrieval, the vehicle will begin on a slow journey back to Earth, reaching a finale in the re-entry capsule descending via parachute onto Mongolia's grasslands on June 25th. Chang'e 6, alongside its primary mission objectives, carried supplementary payloads enhancing its scientific endeavor. 
Among these payloads was iQBEC, a collaborative effort between Pakistan and China, serving as a small satellite. This CubeSat, operational in lunar orbit, aims to construct a model of the moon's magnetic field, providing valuable insights into lunar dynamics. Additionally, the landing module hosted three international instruments, the negative ions at the lunar surface payload from the Swedish Institute of Space Physics, the detection of outgassing radon instrument from France, and an Italian passive laser retroreflector. Furthermore, a mysterious lunar rover observed in pre-flight images interested scientists with its undisclosed purpose. The inclusion of these diverse instruments underscores the collaborative nature of lunar exploration and the quest for comprehensive lunar data. The primary achievement of this mission lies in the forthcoming acquisition of samples from the moon's far side, perpetually concealed from Earth's view. Distinguished by its absence of prominent dark spots and volcanic features, this region remains a puzzle to scientists. By analyzing these samples, researchers aim to reveal mysteries surrounding the moon's geological history and chemical composition, offering fresh insights into lunar evolution and shedding light on the disparities between its near and far sides. The anticipation of these findings amplifies the significance of Chang'er 6 mission in expanding our understanding of the moon's mysterious and puzzling nature. That's all for this video.